Hey guys, today I'm here to show you how to play DVD 9 games, in other words, games that are bigger than 4.7 gigabytes, um, onto your PS2 system. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to convert them to uh, uh, DVD 5, in other words, that's uh, 4.7 gigabytes or lower, and that's DVD 5. So, first things first, you're going to need a program, it's very simple. It's called PS2 DVD9 to DVD5 ISO Builder. You can find this on Google. You just gotta Google search it. And uh, in this folder, you're gonna have uh, three things: uh, expert plugins, a README, and of course the program itself. These are the instructions, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Um, I'm not gonna really show you um, just by reading it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let me show you. All right. I'm using 50 Cent Bulletproof as an example. Now, I actually already converted my copy and I just tested it and it works 100%. So, let's see. This is the original one. See? See, it's 5.95 gigabytes. That's a DVD 9 um, type. So, that's how you can tell if it's a DVD 9 type based game if it's uh, bigger than 4.7 gigabytes. This is my converted copy right here. And that's only 3.37 gigabytes. So, in order for this to work, you have to have the original, which is, of course, the original file when you download it. And then you're going to go to Program. You're going to go to Expert, open it up. And then you'll have options called Plugins. Now, this is really important. You're going to scroll down. Uh, where is it? Until you see Shrinker PS2 slash PSP. CD, DVD, 5, ISO. You're going to do that because that's the program file you're going to be using to uh, decrease, uh, excuse me, decompress your ISO. Now, this is where your ISO file goes, so I'm just going to demonstrate. You can go to desktop, wherever you put your ISO file. I just want to be careful which one I use. I'm going to use the original one. And then after that, you're going to skip all this stuff right here. You don't have to put anything here. You're going to go to Extract, LBAA, or excuse me, LBA, in other words. And then you're going to see stuff pop up on your desktop. Don't move any of the fol folders at all. Don't touch any of it. And that's when that's done. Extract file. The first one goes rather quick, Extract LBA, but this one takes the longest in the process. And then after that, you're going to do Rebuild File, Rebuild LBA. Now that's when you do those two, you'll see another ISO pop up, and then it'll say New 50 Cent Bulletproof, which is in, you know the newer made version of DVD-5 instead of DVD-9. And then that's when those are all done. Like I said, you're basically going to do all four of these. One, two, three, and four. You don't want to do one, two, three, and four. You want to do these in the right step. And that's when those are done, just click exit, and then exit out, and then it'll appear on your desktop, as in our ISO, which I have right here, which is 3.7 gigs. So, I didn't really go into how to burn this stuff uh, onto a disc, so obviously you're going to need a blank DVD. Um, also, I'm going to show you, probably in another video of a demonstration, or maybe I might just do it now, that I actually have it on disk and it does work, so I might as well just prove that that it works, so I guess I'll do that. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly tell you how to burn this. Um, this goes for any ISO game, uh, you know, PS2, whatever. You're going to you need another program called ImageBurn. ImageBurn is a recommended program that I use, because I never had any flaw with my games whatsoever. And uh, Memrex DVD dash R is the kind of disk that you need. Don't don't use DVD plus R because the PS2 will not be able to read them. So whatever you do, uh, when you go out there in the store, your local store, make sure you pick up DVD minus R's. So here we are. This is image burn. This is the menu. You're going to want to click on the right image file to disk. Now you're in this menu. You're going to see file view mode tools and help. You don't have to worry about those. Right where it says please select source file, you're going to click on folder, 
Um, the one I just burned was this one, DVD5 converted. That's the one I just burned. Click on that. And, <coughs> excuse me, my throat's kind of dry. If everything looks alright, it should have a label, label name. Now, if this doesn't, at any point, don't have the label name. In other words, if it shows up as an unknown, don't worry. It's a false alarm. It'll still burn like normal. And then, the most important part of this process is you want to make sure it's burnt at four times speed. Now, if you were to burn it at like 16 times speed, I guarantee you it's not going to work. It has to be set at four times speed. Now, you could do eight, but I prefer four times the speed right here. Now, depending on what kind of discs you have, uh, some CDs may say max burn speed is 16 times speed whatsoever. It doesn't matter, uh, just as long as you can burn it four times the disc speed. And then after that's done, this, well, it's not laid up right now, but if I had like a disc in there, it'll just say burn ISO, and you click burn, and there you go. And uh, each uh, game takes about 15 to 20 minutes to burn, depending on how big the game file is. So, uh, let's see. Now I'm going to be able to show you my... Put the set back up. Sorry, guys, I'm moving kind of slow time. I kind of threw, threw out my back, so. Alright. Of course, gonna need your handy dandy uh, slot magic. Pop that in. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my computer is directly hooked up to my TV, which is pretty neat, so. Yeah. <coughs> Game, yep, whatever. Oh, and uh, eventually I'm going to get a better uh, video cam, so that way the quality doesn't look so shitty. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I know it's like a pain in the ass to see this in all my videos, so I'm definitely going to pick myself up one sooner or later. And, uh, there you go. Now, there's one more thing I do want to say. The only thing that this does is when it converts to uh, DVD-5 quality, in other words, um, PS2 games that couldn't fit on a regular DVD-R because they are bigger than 4.37 gigs. Um, the only... I wouldn't really call it a flaw. I can't really tell. But there's a slight um, decrease in sound quality. The graphics still look the same, so you're not going to lose any graphics quality whatsoever. So you're going to want to go to normal. And then go default. But yeah, that's like the only thing that I kind of noticed, but it's really no big deal, so. And there you go. Just going to kind of get into a little bit. I know I'm like going on like eight minutes right now, but let's see. There you go. I actually already uh, started on this game. I'm like at the first level, but it does work though, so. Like I said, uh, me honestly, I can't really tell of the uh, audio quality difference. It, honestly, it sounds the same to me. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but. And uh, this goes for all DVD-9 games. I might actually put a video up on, uh, the hell is that game called? Uh, Rock Band, because that's also a DVD-9 game. This is the uh, intro opening. So yeah, it sounds damn near the same to me, so. And there you have it, guys. Uh, please uh, throw me a couple of likes and uh, subscribe to my page. If you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to drop me a comment. And thank you very much.